Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we are judging week number two of the Coffee Cocktail Challenge. I think we've got about 40 or 50 submissions, which is fantastic. And week three, we've already got about the same and it's only just at the start of the week. So um, if you do want to enter, make sure you follow the link in the description below and enter earlier in the week, because then you've got all week to gather your votes, climb that leaderboard and become one of the top three and get tasted on the channel. So three cocktails to make today. And I'm starting with the Mention It All, which uh, had the most votes. I should have actually noted down the number of votes. I did that last week, didn't I? I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. So the Mention It All finished with a whopping 359 votes. And it's described as a classic espresso martini with a coconut twist. Named Mention It All a la Bethany Frankel because nothing makes me want to stir the pot more than an espresso martini. So this is a relatively simple variation on an espresso martini just with the addition of a coconut and almond milk creamer. I had quite a lot of recipes being submitted that included creamer and I wasn't actually 100% familiar with what it was. So I looked it up. It's really popular in America and it's just basically an ingredient that you add into your coffees as a sweetener or it comes in either powder form or um, as a liquid. But I'm assuming most of the people watching this video already know that because a lot of you are in the States, but creamers aren't really popular here. We, we, don't, we don't have it. Um, we like our coffee raw, <laughs> straight up. Um, okay, so this one here calls for um, adding creamer to the gra glass. So this one is a house-made creamer. So it does have coconut milk, almond milk, coconut sugar, pinch of salt and vanilla bean. I'll leave the recipe to that in the description below in case you want to recreate it. It's essentially like a house-made cream of coconut with vanilla, a bit of coconut flavor. Yeah, so a bit of a sweetener. So it's just gonna, this is an equal part espresso martini recipe with a sweetener. So uh, let's get into this and measure out 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur and vodka. 45 mil, 1.5 ounces, I'm using Finlandia. And freshly extracted coffee. 45, 1.5 ounce. And give it a shake. So one tablespoon of, the other, oh, Jesus. <laughs> so this one calls for a tablespoon. So I'm gonna add three bar spoons of the creamer into the bottom of the glass and then strain the cocktail over the top. I personally think it could be added into the shaker and combined that way. Because as you strain the cocktail into it, it mixes through anyway, but it leaves a little bit of a, a mess on the bottom. Then also calls for adding creamer on top. Just a little bit. Didn't actually say how much, so. And then garnished with Cocoa powder. Just a fine dusting on top. And there you have the mention it all, the one that finished top with 359 votes. Yeah, it's, you can see all the cr creams all settled on the bottom. Cheers. It's a classic espresso martini with a little sweet touch of coconut and almond. On to cocktail number two. 
Next, we have the Insomniax Pillow, which is, I think, a brilliant name. Uh, finished up on 280 votes. It is a deliciously different and decadently rich. This cocktail might keep you up, but you'll be cozy and content all the, content all the time. <laughs> While the richness and weight of the cream blankets you, the combination of bourbon, coffee, and chocolate bring not only their own comforting flavors, but combine to summon notes of butterscotch and honeycomb, a lovely companion for a laid back night. So combine all the ingredients, but the cream. So we measure out Mr. Black, cold brew coffee liqueur, 30 ml one ounce. Into the shaker it goes, followed by your preferred bourbon whiskey. I'm using Old Forester, 45 ml, 1.5 ounce. And brown creme de cacao. I've got a custard for calling it creme de cacao all the time. I'll just call it chocolate liqueur from now on. So 30 ml, one ounce. Followed by 30 ml of espresso. One ounce. And optional. Quite a few people keep writing optional on their recipes, but I think it's either in the recipe or it isn't. But I can kind of understand because each of their own this is a way to adjust the, the sweetness of the cocktail. So I can understand, I guess, yeah. So fill the shake with ice and give it a shake. Now this one did call for straining into a double rocks glass, but the picture was a brandy balloon. So I'm gonna double strain that into there. Then layer 10, sorry, 10, 20 mil of cream over the top. It's a little bit hard in a brandy balloon. Hmm. It's a little bit hard to lay a cream into a glass that's like this, but Got a nice foam on there. There you have the Insomniac's pillow. Cheers. Rich coffee on the nose. Mm. Definitely fits the description. Rich and decadent, chocolatey. Coffee, whiskey, and chocolate is a wicked combination. And onto the last cocktail, the flat out flat white, uh, a boozy flat white that's good any time of the day. Short and sweet, straight to the point. So this one here calls for 1.5 ounces, 45 mil of Mr. Black. Added straight to the shaker. Add ice. and give it a shake. And it's just strained into the glass to create a layering effect, somewhat. Then next we've got bourbon whiskey, Old Foresters, so 45 mil, 45 mil, 1.5 ounce. It's a bit um, bourbon milk punch esque. So the coffee being the sweetener, bourbon milk. We've got two ounces. 
60 mil of milk, add that straight in. Three dashes of bitters. Didn't actually call for what kind of bitters. Um, most of the time I just assume aromatic bitters, but coffee, orange, maybe a um, chocolate bitters or chocolate bitters. Um, I was thinking maybe the black walnut. So open to interpretation, so I'm gonna use orange bitters. And also, Grand Mania. And then shake again. I don't know how well my layering is gonna work, but we'll give it a go. A little bit. Does look really creamy and rich. Then we've got a float of Grand Mania, 15 mil, half an ounce. I better, I better measure this. And that's another reason I chose the orange bitters, is to amplify the, the orange notes. kind of see it floating on top. Uh, this one doesn't call for a, a garnish, and I completely forgot to tell you guys, it finished on 247 votes, the flat out flat white. Cheers. Got a real intense, rich um, orange cognac note from that Grand Marnier. That's pretty tasty. Um, I think maybe you could lower the milk just that little touch because um, the flavors are a little bit watered down. It's delicious, but it could be tweaked just a tiny bit. Want to try? Mm. And the winner of week two of the coffee cocktail challenge is the Insomniac's Pillow. Rich, decadent, exactly as it described, and it was probably the most original of the, the cocktails of the top three. Congratulations. Um, if you guys haven't already, make sure you submit a cocktail for next week. You can find a link in the description below. I've got plenty more videos to come, so make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.